Today, working on the bug, replacing the fan motor. It's right in here. This has been burned out for about 10 years now. Maybe a little bit less than that, but pretty much ever since I've had it. I'm gonna take this fan out. I'm gonna clean it out in here. Got these replacement parts right here. Uh, but I think all I'm gonna need to replace is the motor right here. I've already got the cover removed for this inside access area. As you can see, the material around here it's pretty much degraded completely, so I'm probably going to order a new foam gasket to get put on here before I reinstall it. So I got the fan loose. Fortunately, I think I probably ripped one of the mounts in the back of it back here. But I did realize that the the plug-in right here goes all the way through and it's gonna be on the other side, probably up under the dash. So I'm gonna have to look up under the steering wheel to see if I can see that. All right, so I was able to find it. If you have somebody pull back and forth right there, these are the wires that you're looking for. So there's like one thicker black one that holds two of them. You got this orange one that comes through. I don't know if everybody's looks as much of a mess as this one does, but all these wires, um, all this right here. I was able to pull this panel off. It's supposed to be screwed in basically right here. And then if you remove that, you can kind of get access. And this, you can see right in here, this is the orange wire right here that I'm touching. And then the one, the black one right behind it that I'm pointing at, that's the black one that goes through. So now I'm gonna trace those and see where they plug into. All right, so not the greatest view or lighting, but you can see there's two, there's a couple orange wires right there and it's the farthest one back. And uh, so it's like pretty much the steering column right here, this bundle, and then right back there, there's like a whole bunch of wires. That's a better view. You can see them all plugged in right back there. And the orange one is this one that's coming down right, right here. And you can kind of see where it plugs in back there. So it is reachable. All right, now the other, the black wire or the, the other two wires in that black casing, there it is right here. And we're right up underneath the switch for the fan. But here it is right here. I don't know the electrical terms, but both of those wires plug into this white box right here. All right, so I finally got these two, uh, these two wires right here. I pretty much just broke them off because they're impossible to get out of this little box right here. Uh, they've been in there for 50 years, so. Yeah, it's a pain. I'm gonna tie a string around these two and pull it back through once I get the ground uh, disconnected also, which I found out is easier to see if you're looking. Uh, it's those right there, that blue, uh, blue piece of metal. That's where all the grounds are connected. So I'm gonna disconnect that one, tie a string to these two and pull it through. All right, now finally got the old one out. Still got a lot of work to do, but got this one out. All right, so this is just a, a test I'm gonna do before I put this new fan in the bug. But um, basically, you've got your two speed wires right here. So these are, these are two different speeds. 
high and low, you'll be able to tell pretty quick. And then uh, your ground or your or your negative. Now after I tested this one, it's not working at all. The fan's not spinning. It's also kind of hard to spin. If someone knows the difference between these, this is this is a Bosch fan, and it looks like this is AEG. It is interesting that these are the same uh, VW part number, but I'm going to look up and see if there's a difference in why the Bosch was put in some and the AEG in the others. So before I put this one back in the car, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pull those uh, plugs that are still stuck after I had to basically cut these wires out. We'll pull those in and then just rewire it uh, back through and plug it in, hope it works, and then I'll, then I'll mount it. Okay, we've got the new uh, blower installed right here and the new uh, hose for the air. Uh, it's not mounted in, so it's just sitting here loosely. Hopefully that works. I'm gonna order some new mounts and uh, hopefully get those plugged in. Also, you can see right here, this plug right here that goes through into the dash, I could not get that plugged in. This piece of rubber right there is super hard. I could not fit it in place. I may come back later and tape it. Basically the purpose of that is, as this is sucking in air from here, um, it hopefully keeps all the water out, but that that prevents water from getting in. I also figured out that this hole right here is supposed to be a drain. So I need to come and clean that out because any water is supposed to drain through that and then to the bottom underneath the car. This ended up taking me a couple hours though to get these uh, old wires pulled out. I pulled the wires off, but they broke off of the connectors right here, as you can see. And these are super long, so that white box that they're up in, uh, I was able, able to get this one pulled out eventually. But this one, I had broken off again, and ended up having to cut the box a little bit to get a better hold on it right here, and finally pull it out. So at this point, all I have to do is rewire that fan back in. Now wiring it up was a lot easier than getting it unwired, but for the first time in 10 years, it got some air.